What's up? I'm Kyle, and this is the first entry of a vlog that I'm going to start doing. I think I'll be doing these a couple of times a week, or once or twice a week, you know, just to basically give you guys an update on what's happening here. They're going to be real quick, real easy, not much editing, very raw footage. Um, we'll see if you like them. Keep doing them. I'm heading down to sick bay right now, uh, to the surgery room, because Dave and Tori just picked a, up a new monkey. Um, it's an adult female and it's in pretty bad shape. It seems like it's blind in both eyes, but we're gonna do our best. Well, Tori's gonna do her best with the help of Sammy, and we'll see what happens. I'll keep you updated on this new monkey. Hey, how are you? He's totally blind, um, lots of bruising around the face. That's right. Quite underweight, so probably been for a while. Dave suspected pellet, but we can't find any evidence of a pellet wound anywhere. Um, something abnormal in this region, but I can't explain it. Greg, if you look at her eye, you can see. Yeah. It's really it sunken. Swollen. It's not yeah. swollen, it's it just weird. It's just yeah. really sunken on that side. Her whole lower jaw is bruised. Mm -hmm. Have a look at this. Situation, oh, that's what the so hell? That's wee wee hole. That's birthing hole, but it's so like joined together. No, open, distended, like it's a giant open cavity. Do you want? I shine a light. You can have a better look. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it's like oh weird. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's got a bit of blood. So this is. Is it possible that she gave an early birth? Well, so, yeah, I don't know. Could be. It's what big. was the story? Like, just found in someone's garden this morning, all hunched over, and Dave just walked up and picked it up. Oh, that's not a great sign. Well, she went. Ah! How'd she go? Ah! And then we, we took the little box, and this is a large monkey. Tried to put it in the little box head first, and she said, nope. Yeah, it's strange really how strange. it's sunk like that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Little baby. Um. Huh. Sure. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Though. That face looks so not impressed. I'm sorry, monkey. You've come on wash day. You don't have any blanket. You know what? I woke up this morning and I thought I can't be bothered taking any sort of decent clothing. That's okay. Nothing's gonna happen to me. Anyway, still blind. Still drugged. We've also got a new juvenile female. She arrived last night at about 3 o'clock, 3.30 or something. She was found at a local hunting lodge behind a refrigerator inside of one of their rooms. Um, no one knows how long she had been there, but she seems pretty malnourished. She's been eating her food like crazy. Uh, she's been drinking like crazy. She seems kind of humanized. She's very comfortable around people, which is always kind of a confusing sign when someone says that they just found this monkey hanging out at their lodge. But, um, yeah, her leg is all messed up. She might have been attacked by a dog. She's got some cuts and bruising, uh, and then she can't really put much pressure or do anything with the leg. She can grip her... Um, her toes, which are is a good sign, um, and she's definitely putting some pressure on it, so it's not all hope is not lost. But uh, again, it's going to be a monkey that probably can't be released back into the wild, or definitely can't be released back into the wild because we don't know where her troop is. So she'll have to integrate into one of the troops. So this will probably be a monkey that I end up doing a little story on for the uh, Vervet 911 episodes. Do other monkeys called Eileen? You like your raisins, don't you? Yum! Oh no! Yeah, I get you another one. Raisins are not good. Probably not I L E A N. Well, there we go. Come on. You gonna take it? Doesn't 
today is also the first day of integration for two oldies, a female named BB and a male named Titan. BB's story is that she arrived as an ex-pet about a year ago. Uh, she's always been pretty hefty and she came in that way probably because her humans were feeding her all sorts of stuff that she didn't need and then you know that's just the way it's stayed she likes to eat a lot so she's a pretty big girl uh she used to live with a monkey named dot but dot just died very recently uh, and then titan who's the male that's being introduced to bb he is also from a goliath troop intro enclosure titan used to live with a monkey named twitch but twitch recently died and dot recently died because all four of them are pretty old so now we're trying to put bb and titan together in the same enclosure so that they're not lonely they're both pretty much past the point of wanting to be integrated into the troop they're set in their ways they're old they're expats you know it's like screw all that we just want to hang out and have life our own way but they're both pretty you know calm monkeys so we're trying them out together and we're going to see how it goes. So Titan lost Twitch and BB lost Dot, so now we're pairing them up to see if they would like some company. They don't always, but so far we've been some grooming through the fence at least. Yeah. Hi, Carl. We're just waiting for Hi, Dave. Dave. Oh, I'm Dave. How are you? I'm fine. Good, man. Thanks. Hi. Hi. Come on. We're just going to wait for Nelly. Nelly? Yeah. Can't you watch the video? So we'll just spread out a bit and um, keep our distance from her. Yeah. So Nelly, can you do it on it? Sure. Just smile and look attractive for the camera, please. So BB just met Titan, and uh, they just crossed paths in the little airlock in between their two enclosures, and literally just walked right past each other, chattering like, bruh, 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 bruh. super happy to see one another, Boop, right past, not even a sniff, not even anything, just passed right by into each other's air, other enclosures, like, all right, cool, home swap, sounds good, everybody, deal, deal, great, we're gonna hang out. And then of course, BB just started drinking all the Titan's rehigh, which is like, salt, Himalayan salt and uh, sugar, honey and water. So she just went straight to the bunny bottle and started drinking that. And Nellie had to take that away from her so she wouldn't just keep drinking all that sugar water. It was ridiculous. So we'll see how they go later on. Uh, could take a while, could take days, you know? But right now it's good. I mean, their interaction is positive. They're not being aggressive toward each other. Um, the next crucial time to see what happens will be when food comes out because that's when they can get possessive, especially BB. Yeah, yeah. What's up, man? So this is Mango. Uh, he has been here for a couple of years now. Um, he came in as an orphan and we only had three Samangos, well, two other Samangos. One was Charlie and the other one was Sammy, and they're both geriatrics. Uh, Mango came in and he was in Disneyland with the other baby vervets, and then we had to integrate him over here. So first he met Sammy, and he joined this block, which is uh, where the Samangos are. And Sammy basically helped Mango integrate into the troop. They've got their enclosure back here, and Sammy sort of just, you know, helped Mango. It's not a troop. I don't mean integrate him into the troop, but I mean it helped him to have a friend and to have a father figure and to have someone to hang out with. But uh, Sammy just died recently. He passed away. Um, he's about 18 years old, which is pretty old for a monkey. And he had some brain trauma. I mean, we went took him to the vet a couple of times to see what was up with him and couldn't figure it out. It did all sorts of tests on him, so he must have had just a tumor in his brain or something. The next step for us to take on him would have been to give him uh, an MRI, but that didn't happen. So now the uh, the deal is Mango's all alone in here, so we're trying to integrate him with Charlie. Uh, Charlie is this older male, so Mango, who's pretty grumpy. He doesn't really like people. He doesn't like men, especially. Uh, you'll see if I go over to him and film him, he'll just like jump at me and eyebrow me and be all aggressive. Mango, on the other hand, wants to be friends with everyone. So it's kind of a hard matching uh, because Charlie just doesn't really care about Mango. Mango will spend like two seconds of having fun with Charlie and then Charlie just kind of gets mad at him and then walks off and wants nothing to do with him. So it's going to be a slow process, but hopefully the two of them can integrate to each other and become good buddies. 
So this is Charlie. As you can see, he's not pleased to have me anywhere near him right now. Um, I usually don't get this close to him just because it stresses him out so much. It's not really nice to do this to him. So I'm going to step back now. Sorry, Charlie. But that's the dude that Mango is supposed to integrate with. Um, we'll see how it goes. It goes better when I'm not around, that's for sure. So we've also got a bunch of integrations going on down at H&B. There's this one monkey right now whose main priority, her name is Snow White. She's trying to be integrated into the troop, but she's not going out into the troop. Um, we have to bring monkeys into the enclosure, so Nico, the integration staff member, is down there basically letting in one monkey at a time, seeing which ones gel with her, which ones are her friends, which ones aren't, and then basically just getting her accustomed to the monkeys that she will eventually join and will be her new family. And H&B is a pretty small troop, so it's quite a few monkeys that want to be integrated into that troop, and it's definitely going to take a little bit of time. We've also got these two monkeys named Rocio and Kisi. Uh, Rocio is an ex-pet who came in in 2017, so sometime last year. Uh, Kisi's also an ex-pet. He's about 10 years old. A lovely couple brought him to us after keeping him as a pet for quite a few years, uh, ever since they found him as an orphan, actually. Rocio is very uh, aggressive in uh, the needy sense. She just wants to grab on and touch people and hug and just always wants attention from humans. Kisi, on the other hand, also wants attention, but he's more of a kind of a guy that keeps to himself and he likes things to be his and he knows what's his. Like the first day Rocio went in with him to try them out together, Kisi went straight up into his little hammock that he has and like made it be known that that was his space and she was not supposed to go in there if he had his eyes on it. But we're hoping that because of their both being sort of like strange aggressive huggers in their personalities that they'll actually end up getting along pretty well. So far, they don't really care about each other. There's no aggression, but they're just not really, they don't, they don't care. <laughs> Roshio doesn't care about Kisi. Kisi doesn't really care about Roshio. Kisi's castrated, so, you know, that probably doesn't help his interest level in a female vervet, and Roshio is like a total dude, so <laughs> she doesn't really care about Kisi. But there's a guy in the enclosure next door, uh, another bachelor, his name is Eddie, and Roshio is really in to Eddie and they groom each other all the time through the fence while Kisi's just sitting there watching. So I think the plan is going to be that the fence gets taken down between those two enclosures and the three of them get integrated into one little enclosure together, uh, which is awesome because it's a lot more space for all of them and it'll be better to have, you know, three monkeys together, which two males and a female like that aren't necessarily the most uh, traditional type of living situation for vervets, but these three are not the most traditional vervets. So we'll see what happens and hopefully it'll all work out for the best. So far, Roshio and Kisi are doing great together. There's a Tim dog. Hi, Tim dog. You big loafer. What are you doing? So that's it for this first uh, vlog entry. I hope you dug it. I'll probably be doing more of these because that was pretty quick and easy for me to put together. And I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, remember to check out the Teespring shop that we now have, selling a bunch of t-shirts, VMF logos, all cool designs with monkeys on them and stuff. The link is on the bottom of the screen right now. Yeah, I think so. And then uh, also check out the shop at theverbitforest.com slash shop because that has like prints of photos and wallpaper packs and stuff that you can buy. Uh, and then I'm going to be starting a Patreon account soon so you guys can help me out if you want to, I guess. It's up to you, really. But I hope you enjoyed this video and I've got a great one coming out for you on Thursday, which is going to be a recap of everything that happened this past baby season. So every single baby from one to Z. They're going to be on there, and you're going to see what's going on, and what went through everything is, what, 36 episodes? It's crazy. So, all in one Thursday. So, come back for that, and I'll see you all next time. Later.